Good morning. It is August 31st, just after 6 a.m. Here's a shot of the marina. Yeah. Sun's still coming up right now. Yeah, not a big marina, but right now, uh, thinking about moving next door just on the other side of this house back in there the marina was sold last last year about this time but lately there's some shenanigans going on uh, like there's a few liveaboards uh, over here that they're saying they're not allowed anymore the new management saying no more liveaboards after this year. Uh, so they gotta find somewhere else. So like the white truck over here with the dinghy on, on it, that's for a guy named Richard. He's looking at finding another place to uh, park his boat and live on. Uh, there's a few others back there. Part of the shenanigans is uh, the new management or the new owners haven't paid their bills so there was one time the trash right here wasn't picked up for a few weeks so it was just piled up high and then the latest thing is that they're not going to allow anyone to DIY you know do it yourself work on your own boat so looking for a place to put mine which is right back there this guy in the tent, the white, the white cover, he's been working on that boat for about five, five years, six. Oh, and then back here, uh, where the, over here where the masts are. You know, I've got my mast over there, so I need to figure out how I'm getting that on the boat or on the trailer for transport. As far as I know, only one of those masts might belong to somebody else, and that's for a West Sail 32. It's back there, that, the dark hull by the trees. Person built, bought that boat and been working on it, but the rest of those masts over there, junk from boats left over from being cut up. Well, here's the boat. Here's Rhapsody right now. Uh, we got a little bit of work. But definitely happy I put the solar up before launching. But right now I got the Dodger up and still need to work on the back here from when the tree fell on it, which was on the other side of this covered boat here. But, uh, got the rudder. Uh, just a little bit of work on it here and there. But no more DIY after October 31st, so I gotta find somewhere else. And I don't think I'd be able to launch before, before that time, because I need to do an engine alignment at a minimum, and that needs to be in the water for a while. But... Back here is the truck. Uh, just a whole line of trailers back here, but I just noticed m this morning mine, for some reason, they moved it further over here. Might just try moving that out or over, but yeah. kind of got it right on this guy's fence here. But anyway, today's project is going to be working on the brakes, replace the brakes. Because, well, 
got the pads here, got the discs back in here, and the hubs. So replacing everything, all the surge line stuff here with electric. That's the idea. So three axles, six sets of brakes and tires. Uh, I'm just really annoyed that they moved the trailer over. Not really sure why, because I mean, having this boat right here, they didn't really need to move mine over any. But I might be able to get in there and move it over a little. Maybe just work on one side and then once that one side is good, move it over so I can work on this, this other side. Not sure how long it's going to take, but I've got one set here. And then the others in these boxes, they've been sitting in my garage for about a year, a little more than a year. But just looking things over right now, because uh, I also found out about breakaway switches and need some sort of breakaway on this trailer. So I'm thinking of how or where to mount it. I had thought of maybe mounting it on this cross member uh, some over there or maybe in here but I don't know maybe that might be too far so maybe I can make a bracket or maybe even use this one I don't know this this one doesn't work for the spare tires but maybe a bracket here or just right in here I don't know I just ordered the breakaway kit so it'll probably be a week before it gets here I can at least work on the brakes and then the wiring will come next it looks like some wiring it might be no it might be just from the surge brakes that looks like wiring right there but I'm going to need to redo the wiring because right now there's a four four prong. There it is. Yeah, so I've got this connector. But when I go to electric brakes, I need the seven pin connector for the brakes, power, you know, all that stuff. So I'll probably have to redo the lighting and which is the only lights really for the tail lights and brake lights uh, let's see. but that's going to be what I'm working on today and then not only that uh, probably trying to f figure out and plan some other stuff <laughs> and mosquitoes are already trying to get me probably just spray some repellent on because it does not take long for them to latch on and so normally right now I'm parked back there normally I'm back in, in here in the yard but in order to get my boat on the trailer at least that blue hole right there that's a Baba 30 I think this one, that Alfie, that one would have to move in order to get to mine. And maybe that one too. Depending on how they want to do it. There's a Tartan 27. But, uh, I'm going to have to put some stuff away. Right now, for the mast, I'm thinking of a bracket or a mount that attaches up here to the bow pulpit. And I've seen some other, some pictures of other boats where it's either, the back is either stored or attached on the stern rail, which isn't there. That's what this little part sticking up is. That's the rail laying down there trying to hold the plastic down. 
Uh, so either attached to the rail or boom gallows, which I don't have. So I think, you know, just some kind of wood uh, saw horse type thing in the cockpit. I was thinking maybe just over the Dodger, but from what I've seen, a lot of people remove the Dodger, especially if it's transport. Uh, especially like on the highway, it's not going to be there anyway, so maybe I can come up with something. But usually I'm parked over here somewhere. Huh. Looks like they actually used some sort of weed or grass killer over here. Surprising. Has been getting a little overgrown lately. But there's my mast. Mast itself doesn't really need a lot of work. Okay. Uh, okay. Camera kind of crashed on the phone, so I just need to attach the VHF uh, light and the lens on here. Uh, this little cotter pin is for this here. Yeah. But the main thing I was doing for the mast was re redoing the shroud, so I can hopefully be able to raise the mast myself. And that'll take some time. Must have sprayed something to kill all this off. Oh, and then uh, the tree that fell on the boat used to be right about where the axles are on that trailer. But then there used to be another tree where that boat is. Uh, yeah. So, still some work to do. Wouldn't mind crawling into the quarter berth and taking a nap, but I'm going to try working on the boat or the trailer first. I've uh, got a lot of stuff to do. I just thought I'd do a quick walk around. Okay, getting started on this. Here's the hub uh, and disc right here. And this is the pads. It was mounted on a bracket right here. So what I'm doing is removing this. I'm going to put this brake on. And they're labeled for which side it goes on. So this is right side, as it's the right side of the trailer. And then this will go on. I, the box right here has a bunch of, of the bearings and seals and everything for the hub. So I'm uh, going to be working on this uh, for all six tires. So what I'm doing, because the people at the marina moved the trailer too close to this guy's fence over here, I'm going to try doing this side and see about moving the trailer so I can get the other side. So I'm not sure how long it's going to go. and uh, So I'm going to be busy with this today. And also just a little disclaimer this is not a how-to video you know some people complained about one of my other videos saying it didn't really show how to do something this is just me trying to figure it out uh, the steps I'm doing is basically from eTrailer.com and they have some good videos if you need to look at how to do this so I'm just following their steps uh, so I'm just going to go and put the phone down and get started with at least removing this one and see how it looks from there. Okay, I got the one hub off and got the brakes on. These bolts right here are graded, graded. they're grade 5. These are 3 8 by 24, so it's 3 8, uh, three eight 
uh, diameter and 24 threads per inch. And I looked up online uh, for torque settings. So grade five with that fine a thread is 35 foot pounds. So I torqued these down, grabbed out the little torque wrench. So I cinched these down to 35 foot pounds. <clears throat> Now the next step is getting this ready. Uh, so the kit came with this. It came with the inner and outer bearings, this seal, I think they call it a grease seal, and you know the, the cap and then these nuts. So I greased these up some time ago at the house. So uh, the large bearing goes inside here then this gets pounded uh, on the top right here so I got a piece of wood right here I'm going to use this rubber mallet and going to pound that in just making sure things are still greased up uh, the grease I got this grease uh, just seemed like it would work well I don't know it's different grease than what I what came before, so I tried cleaning this up with a towel, and uh, so got this hex nut that came off. I'm going to clean that up and use that again. But there's the old one. So you see, still see plenty of grease in there on this old one. But uh, going to see how this one goes too. So this, it really didn't take long to uh, get the old one off, clean this, and get this on. So it's going well so far. Okay, I got this hub on now. <clears throat> Tightened it down. Uh, got the washer back here. Put the castle nut back on. Over here, uh, there's a hole that I'm going to put in a cotter pin to keep it in place. But from what I've seen, the idea is tightening up this nut uh, enough where it holds everything in place, but this still spins freely. Uh, the main thing I need to do after this is adjust the brakes itself. Uh, but I'm going to wait on that for now until, uh, probably until I can do the wiring, which I may not be able to do today, but... If I can get this stuff on, that'll be it. So the last thing would be probably putting in a little bit more of the grease in here, and then uh, just putting this cap on and sealing it in place. And then that should be it. So so far it doesn't seem like it's too bad. The worst thing is or most time consuming seems to be getting the old grease off the spindle and this castle nut. But otherwise it doesn't seem too bad so far. Uh, whenever I do get this out on the road, I'm definitely gonna check, make sure these are not getting too hot. I have a little digital thermometer thing with laser pointer. Uh, be able to check the temperature. Uh, got that at Harbor Freight, so take that for what it's worth uh, but the idea is trying not to get it to overheat when it's going on the road when there's a load on the load being a large boat so it doesn't seem too bad uh, gonna break open one of the boxes and get another set for the right side uh, the right side brake assembly so I'll work on these so before the surge brakes were just on two axles but uh, a lot of requirements for states and I've read in Canada requires brakes on each axle so I got that's why I have so many things to do and so gonna finish seal this up and then put the tire back on so I can move to the next one all right at this point I got two of them on on this right side it's already lunchtime, but 
Uh, it's not going too bad, just to compare how they look. You know, probably pounded this in a little too hard because this one kind of went inside also. But, uh, got two of them on there. <laughs> kind of move smoothly. They don't, uh, trying to shake them, they don't wiggle at all. Here's a new one and then here's the old one And as you can see another reason for switching brakes is That a couple of the bolts had come off I Remember at least one of them sheared off when I moved here from Tennessee Maybe both I don't remember but uh, Just going to replace this one now this axle you can kind of see on here the other side there's no brake on this axle so the, the brakes are only on this the back two axles for the surge so this one should go quicker pop everything off get the new uh, brakes on new hub and then get the tire back on uh, the uh, once this is done then I'll have to move the trailer to get to the other side then that first one should go pretty quickly like this one but then the other two, I'll have to work a little harder to get the brakes off because it took a little uh, coaxing to get that one off. Uh, but then I, it's just a matter of getting all the surge lines off and eventually work on wiring, which might end up being next week. But uh, it's coming along all right. So just wanted to give a little update at this point. And then... Uh, Got these two right now. Uh, probably going to sell those on Craigslist. I'm not sure, but uh, they could probably still be used by somebody. Uh, that's about it. On to the next one. Got the other ones up here. It's just after 1.30 in the afternoon, and I got these three taken care of. Those are good. Uh, about the only thing really is the wiring, which will come later. I just went through and moved the boat away from the fence. So now I have a little bit of space here. I'm going to start working on the left side. I got all three of the sets of those back here. And uh, it hasn't been too bad. A uh, couple spots slowed down from removing uh, the brakes over here. A um, couple of the holes over here for mounting the electric brakes were too small, so I had to drill them out slightly. And kind of expect the same stuff on this side. But it's been going pretty well so far.